Can you just imagine that for a minute? Come on, let's go there. Can you only imagine what it would be like when you find yourself in the presence of God? It's like, but guess what? This flesh won't be there. <laughs> this flesh won't be there. Not this flesh. This flesh won't be there. Hallelujah. It'll be another glorified body there. Won't have all this gray on it. <laughs> Amen. In the presence of the Most High God. It, uh, the Bible, uh, the record says, uh, I don't know if I will stand until, I, until my knees will up fall. But in the presence of the Most High God. Holy moly. When you look upon him, you're going to have nail-scarred hands. And he's going to have nails, God, feet. But guess what? He won't be beaten and bruised like we seen him when he was on the cross. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. Lord. But he would have a glorified body. Yeah. Woo, how about a whole shot? And uh, he will welcome you with open arms. Because he is. I am. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's continue to go. Let's continue to dig a little deeper. Let's continue to dig just a little deeper. Now, this is the same God in Genesis that said he made man in his image. This is the same God that said when he made good, he made evil also because he said this. He said there's two trees that's in the garden. Is the tree of good, I mean, is it the tree of our life? He said there's a tree of the knowledge of good and of evil. He said these are trees that he planted in there. So if he planted, what that mean? He said was nothing made that wasn't made by him. So he made everything. Amen. Matter of fact, he, he brought it to Adam. He said, Adam, I'm planting this right here. What tree is this? What tree is this? He said, what tree is that? And when he got to the mother, the tree of uh, life and death and the tree of good and evil, he said, don't eat off of that tree right there. The tree of knowledge. Because I don't want you to know this. This is a tree that is forbidden for you to touch it. But you got to watch what you plan in your life because people are touching. Yes, you gotta, Lord. You got to watch it because they'll come and they'll try it. They'll try you. That's why you got to be rooted and grounded in the Lord. Because, see, I'm telling you, people will try you and they will, uh, they will try your faith. You know what's special? <laughs> Especially on the job, they would try your especially out there in the world. Mm -hmm. They would try, you say you're a Christian, but let's see, what about these circumstances that you've been to get into? Are you still a Christian? Are your, is your mouth going to betray you? When you get into some trials and tribulations, are you going to still be praising God or is something else going to come out your mouth? Mm -hmm. There's some few choice words going to come out of your mouth instead of the words of thank you, Jesus. See, because his words say trials and tribulations you shall have. Absolutely. You're going to be going through something as long as you're in this flesh. Something going to come up against you because why? Well, you all oh, glad you asked me. <laughs> because the devil come to steal, kill, kill and destroy. Until Jesus come back, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. Until Jesus come back, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But when Jesus break the sky, ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah, this old flesh ain't gonna be able to stand up to see what I'm telling you. <laughs> He said, because the Bible said we all going to fall down and the spirit going to meet him in the sky. These things going to fall down. They ain't going to what? 
They are not going back to heaven where they was created at. Let's uh, let's go to First John. I like First John because First John says a lot. You know that? Can you believe that? That First John says a lot. But uh, before we go to First John, let's stop at Titus. All right, Titus chapter two. Check out what Titus says. Somebody say, what's Titus at? That's at the back of the book. All right. It's right after uh, Timothy, 2 Timothy. You got Titus. Titus, chapter 2, verse 12. Look at what, listen to what it says. Listen closely. Teaching us that denying ungodly, in worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. I like to continue. Love it. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing. Come on. When he break the sky, that glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. He's going to be going to be our great God and our Savior. G they, Titus said this one. There's only one gonna break the sky. Ain't gonna be one break the sky over here. One break the sky over there. He said it's going to be one. He's going to be a great God. Going to be a great God. He's going to be our Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. We, we got to go there. But come on. Let me take you somewhere else. Okay. To show you. Come on over. Let's see what Isaiah said about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 45. Check it out. Check out what Isaiah, I mean, woo, you got to watch Isaiah, because Isaiah sent you somewhere. Isaiah, chapter 45, let's start here, uh, let's see, uh, let's start at verse number five, let's read it, okay? You got it? Mm -hmm. Isaiah, verse what? Chapter 45. In five. chapter five, catch up when you get there, okay? Because we ain't, we we got a limited time. Excuse me. Look at what he said. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. You hear that? Yeah. Check out what he said. I girded thee through thy though though sorry, sorry though thou has not known me. Check it out, six. That they might know me. I mean, sorry, I'm getting a little ahead. Sorry. That they may know from the rising of the sun. And from the West, that there is no, that there is none beside me. I'm getting in the way and I'm sorry. I am the Lord and there is none else. Listen to what he said here. Check this out. God always repeats himself for some reason. He said, look at this. He said, I formed the light. And created darkness. Listen to what he said. I make peace and what? Create, create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Oh my, what? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. And these people 
doing evil on the earth. And God just said, I created it. He didn't create you to do it. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. It's there, though. Yeah. Because if it wasn't there, then you only have one choice to serve God, right? Yeah. But he gave you a choice. He said, I'm God all by myself. Yeah. He said, it ain't nobody beside me. So you know what they're saying? You can't ask nobody else. You can only ask him. He created the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That don't mean you have to pick from it. That don't mean you have to mess with that tree. This right here is a very touchy subject. But a lot of people will tell you, ain't no way God created evil. It ain't no way God created evil. But the Bible says all things was made by God. And there was nothing, what it say, that was made that wasn't made by him. You said it wasn't nothing. This carpet, God made this carpet. Thank God, because I can take my shoes off and walk on. <laughs> he made these old socks that I got on. You know how he made them? He gave man the knowledge on how to make it. Yep. And he gave <laughs> He gave him all the animals to make it from. Yes, ma'am, he did. Amen. Okay. Only went there because Revelation sent me there. Uh -oh. All right. That's why I went there. Let's go on. Uh, what was that? Titus sent me there, too. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's jump back over to John. First John. Chapter, what did I say? First John chapter, did I say chapter 5 or did I not say a chapter? Chapter 5. Let's check it out. Listen to this. Because you know what? Even though God made all this, you know what? what? God is love. Mm -hmm. God is love. Check it out what it says here. Yeah, you got it yet? First John? No. Okay, when you get there, read it. It'll be good that you're there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Check out what it says. Verse 7. It says here, For these, for there, I'm sorry, I don't even know what I got these. Forgive me. <laughs> for there are three that bear record. In heaven, the Father, the Son, that ain't what it says. That ain't what it says. It says the Father, it says the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Now, boy, I tell you, it says these, it said the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. one. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. But well, why didn't it mention the Son? Wait a minute. Why didn't the Word just right there mention the Son? It left out the Son. How can it leave out the Son? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was nothing made that was made. So, Jesus is the Word. And the Word it's Jesus. You can't separate them. Check out what it says here. 
Look at what it says in verse 8. <laughs> Glory to your name, Jesus. And there are three that bear witness in the earth. So it's three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree as one. Why would it say that? I know why, I think. I think I know why. I think when they hung Jesus on the cross and they hit him with that spear because they said he ain't already dead. I can't be already dead. These two are kicking and screaming. They're alive. How can he be already dead? Put him to the test, stick him with the spear, see if he's dead. Hit him with that spear on the side. Uh -huh. Pull it back out. They said, water? No. One thing I thought for sure. Boy, once you put some water in your body, it automatically mixes up. You can't tell the difference between the water and the blood. But it said water came out of him and blood. And it said once it hit the ground, they said the earth shook like nobody's business because he had gave up the spirit. Man, that's something else. And that's how they agree as one. That's how they agree as one. Ooh, oh, glory, hallelujah. You said, you know how? Is that what the how would you say? <laughs> huh? It's all good, though. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Hallelujah. So, we got to do a little jumping here. That was first job. Let's jump. Let's just roll back a little bit. No, to Philippians. Let's roll back. You got, you got Philippians and you got Ephesians. You got you got Colossians there. Okay, then let's stop at Colossians first. That's what you said. Okay. Colossians 1.19. When you get there, go ahead. It says, For it pleased the Father. That's what 119 says. It pleased the Father that in him shall all fullness dwell. In Colossians chapter 1 19. Yes. We were just going to get ready to go over to 20. You got it? You there? It, it's best that you be there because the word says, Study to show thyself approved unto God that a workman need not to be ashamed, but rightly divided the word of truth. How can you rightly divide the word of truth when you don't know where you're at? You got to know where you're at in the <coughs> Word. And if you don't have that book in front of you, if you don't have that uh, that phone in front of you where you can go to where the Scripture at, how you know I'm telling you the truth? See, the truth will make you free. And that book will help you. Anything that you need in this world is in this book. Yes, it is. Any question that you have, guess what? It's in this book. Any answer that you need, guess what? It's in the book. Like Prego, it's in there. All you got to do is search it out, and you will find it. Hallelujah. Glory to the name. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, 
by the reconciled all things unto himself. What? By him. I say, rather, they be things in the earth or things in heaven. Oh, my, my, my. As declaring that in heaven, Jesus is God, and on earth, he's God. No matter where you go, you can't get away from him. Let's travel right on over to Philippians. That's the next book right over. Turn one page. Bam! Oh. Philippians. <laughs> you know, got us turn another one. Two two we got to go to chapter two. No. Amen. Come on, we're almost through here. Okay, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6. You there? No. Yes, ma'am. Amen. What does it say? No, it says, Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God? Okay? You got that? Yep. Check out what verse 7 says. But made himself of no what is that? Reputation to take upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Can you understand that? Mm -hmm. That God then said, wait a minute. I've got to come down. And I just can't come down to the spirit. And say, ooh, ooh, ooh. He said, but I've got to make myself like I made my creation. Oh, come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. He said, I've got to make myself like I made Adam. Come on, somebody. Yes, like when I drew him in the dirt, hallelujah, and I breathed the breath of life onto him. That's the only way I can come down to him. i got to come down like I made the first Adam because I'm the second Adam. Come on, somebody. Yes. And he said, I'm coming down, hallelujah, to recompense them back. On to myself, because ain't nobody else can do it. Not nobody. Not you, not you, and not you. Mm -hmm. Not the one in the corner sleep over there. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no man can reconcile another man unto himself. Nope. But the one that created you. Because he said, he said it in Jeremiah. Before you was formed in your mother's belly, I knew you. Ooh, That's a statement right there. For God to say that he already knew you, that, that's saying, if he said he already knew you, he said, well, hey, I already had a relationship with you. Me and you was uh we were homies. We was kicking it. Mm. This is what he tell me. I'm just breaking it down the earth. He said, before I before, before I said it's time for you to go, me and you was kicking it. We was we was almost like uh I was with Adam. We was walking in the cool of the day. We were chilling with each other. He said, and then it was your turn. Might have not been your time, but it was your turn to go down and maybe tell somebody about the goodness of the Father. Because God is an awesome God. He's an on-time God. He is a marvelous God. And that's why I love him so. And that's why I don't know why he chose me. All I can do is, as he chose me, to give you what he gave me. And that's all I can do. <laughs> and he, as he chose everybody in here. Uh -huh. 
You know, it's not by happenstance, it's not by circumstance that did God say, go. Go. Choose me. Choose life or choose death. Who are you going to choose? Which is life. I choose life. I'm almost, I'm almost there, y'all. I can see some of y'all going to go and curl already. I'm almost there now. Uh, amen. <laughs> I'm almost there. God is an awesome God. That's why I love him so. You know what he is? <laughs> he is a God of a sense of humor. Yes, he is. God is a God of a sense of How do you know? Just look at me. Amen. Look at that. That make you laugh by itself right there. <laughs> you know, God, God, why? <laughs> you make you laugh, that's why. Yes, yes, yes. It's always good to laugh and make the heart fun. It is. It truly does. Uh, let's go. I'm over here, Romans. Romans I'm right almost there. Day. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Mr. Romans. Why did you guys go to Romans with that one? Huh? I know because you were sweet or something, I think. Not sweet. Okay, well then come on, wake up and go to Romans. And let's check out chapter 14. And let's visit verse 11. Yes. 14. Chapter 11. Verse 11. Yes. Check out what it says. You 14, see it? Verse 11? Yes, sir. Okay. You see what it says? For it is written. It's talking about the word. It's written in here in the word. Mm -hmm. As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. Every tongue shall confess to God so that every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's written. It's already written down in the Word. Uh -huh. It's written here, go right here, that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. But check it out. This is the real part here. 12 here. So then every one of us shall give a count to himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. Oh, what do you mean by what do you mean by anymore? He he watching us, isn't he? <laughs> he said, let us not judge one another anymore, but he said, let us not judge one another anymore, but judge this rather that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Mm -hmm. Oh my Lord. Ooh. Don't be putting no stumbling block in my way so I fall on purpose. You gotta watch it. Because man will start preaching of themselves instead of preaching of God. Mm -hmm. So you follow them instead of following God. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch it. He got what Paul said if any man preach any other gospel but Jesus Christ, you better run the other way. Because they're coming down hard. One more scripture I got. And then we're going to leave you alone. All right, because I love you all. Amen. Amen. The chapter before you get to Revelation is called Jude. Mm -hmm. Jude. J U D E. 
That's right. You just keep going to the last of the book. If you get the revelations, you went too far. Third, 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 to show myself approved <laughs> unto God that a workman need not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. That's the only way you could have known that it wasn't a chapter two. Chapter <laughs> <in the book. laughs> there you go. Come on. But ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Keeping yourself in the love of God. Loving for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ until eternal life. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Check it out. This is the meat of it. And of some have compassion making a difference. That's what you saints supposed to be out there doing. Mm -hmm. Having compassion and making a difference. We need to have more compassion so we can make a difference. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Check it out. And others say what Fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Down unto him. Let's pray. We're on 24 now. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before the presence of of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And ever. Not forever. Don't say forever. It says now and ever. Because you can't put no forever in front of that. Because if you put forever in front of that, that must mean it was a time that he wasn't. Yeah. But if you put ever, that means it's not a time that he was. He always have been and always will be God. Mm -hmm. The one that said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a beginning. You know, the one that said, let us make man in our image. He's the only wise God. Be majesty and dominion and power now and ever. And ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever. He's God all by himself. He don't need no help from you. He don't need to take no counsel from his creation. That's right. <laughs> and guess what? We are the creation. How did creation go counsel the creator? <laughs> that don't even sound right. <laughs> he is all knowing and all willing. He is the one, guess what? That even before the foundation of the world, he said, I loved you. He loved us. God is love. And without love, the Bible said we are none of his. We got to remember love covers a multitude of sin. We got to remember to love first. And don't judge your fellow man. Because if you're judging, you're liable to put a stumbling block in his way. Because he'll be wondering on that. Wow, is that me? Is that 
What's that, B? Hmm. When the devil comes, this kill, steal, and destroy, you got to watch it. Because, see, the Bible says the devil is the accuser of the brothers. We in Revelations now. He said he is the accuser of the brother. So we have to watch it. We have to watch him because we love him. We love God so much that we believe that he is our all in our all. God is good. Hallelujah. What did he tell He said, why calleth me good? There's only one that's good. That's the Father. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. But God is an awesome God. Yeah. And he just wants you to know that he's love. In order to love God, you got to love your neighbor. Exactly. Like you love yourself. Now you can't tell that to everybody because everybody don't love themselves. Or they don't. They, they don't love themselves. It's hard to love the neighbor. But you got to love yourself first. And then guess what? God will take care of us. Because if you love yourself, that means God can work in you now. Because you know what? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever should believe in him should not perish, should not be separated from God, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Now, you just got to hear some preaching and teaching. All yes. this rolled yes. up into one. Now, the thing about this, are you going to take the knowledge that you got and apply it to your life? Mm -hmm. or are you just going to put it on the shelf and leave it? Mm -hmm. Prayerfully, you apply it to your life because God is a good God. Hallelujah. Let's pray out. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you for the day. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you saved us, Lord, for such a time as this, Lord Jesus that we may be an impact unto your world that you made, Lord, unto your creation that you made, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, let us gird ourselves up, Lord Jesus. That, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, we don't care what they smell like, we don't care what they look like, Lord. All we care is that they be saved. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, let us get out of these four walls, Lord, and go into the highways and the byways and compel them to be saved. Compel them to love Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Now to him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before thy presence. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory majesty and dominion and power both now and ever in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.